Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Game Telecom video, let's discuss Windows 10 and enhancements to PC gaming. And this is all thanks to a new game mode feature, which Windows 10 is going to be providing us thanks to a new build. We're going to be going into that in just a moment. So Windows 10 has had a semi-mixed reception when it comes to PC gaming. DirectX 12 has certainly been well received, but then you have issues with the Windows Store, which not so well received considering the walled garden experience. But Microsoft are trying to amend a couple of big issues with PC gaming. One of those is, of course, the Appy, in which case DirectX 12, has made rather large strides to becoming a lot more efficient, and games are only really starting to take advantage of this right now. Now, obviously, we do have some competitors, for example, Vulcan. We had an exclusive interview with Kronos Group, who developed that, by the way. You should definitely go check it out if you're interested in either the YouTube channel, or you can uh, do a Google. I'll also remember to link it in the video description if you so desire. However, one issue with PCs is the allocation of resources. So typically, when let's say a games console, the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, run an application, despite the fact that you have a whole bunch of programs running, for example, you can have Netflix, you can have DVR, um, or of course, friends lists and all this other stuff that's happening, ultimately, the game runs with a high priority. So everything else will be sent to the background or slower memory, and for example, the PS4 Pro shunts it off to DDR3 memory, while the uh, bulk of the GPU resources, bulk of the CPU resources go all the way to making sure that the game runs as best as it can on the requisite hardware. However, a new feature was spotted by Walking Cat, uh, who is a Twitter user, and he has claimed that in a leaked build, which is 14997, I repeat, 14997, there is a very interesting new feature which has popped up for insiders. And it also oh, will be popping up for insiders, and it's with the creators update. It has a new DLL, game mode DLL, so it looks like a game mode thing. Essentially, it looks like Windows will adjust its allocation of logic, for example, CPU graphics, to prioritize the game when running in game mode. Now, there is a few questions regarding how this is going to work in reality. Windows Store is almost assuring that, of course, any title, at least any recent title, is going to work. So we can almost be self-assured that, say, Gears of War 4 will support this. But what happens if you were to go out and, let's say, buy the same game on Steam or Origin? Well, that's a bit of a different kettle of fish. And whether that's going to happen or not is a bit of a mystery. Adding to that is what happens to older games. Now... Being honest with you, if it's really old, for example, let's say, I don't know, Quake 2, which is very old, it probably doesn't really matter so much. But if it's a more modern title, um, which is, let's say, released last year, uh, let's say Crisis Free, then assuming your PC is not bleeding edge, it still requires quite a bit of grunt to run that, especially if it's, let's say, 4K. So, in theory, what will happen here, and I'm obviously basing this on very little information other than these tweets, is I can imagine applications which, oh sorry, if the game is running and let's say it requires more memory than you have available, it in theory will page other uh, applications to virtual memory. For example, if you've got Word open, let's say you've got a Microsoft Office suite open, and perhaps you've got a few uh, web browsers open, it might page those to the hard drive. And obviously, if you have some um, CPU intensive tasks running in the background, for example, let's say an antivirus scan decides, oh, hi, hey, I'm going to start doing things now, it will probably put that in a very low priority queue, maybe just stick it on one processor core, let's say you've got a quad core, or perhaps even uh, 12, I'm sorry, even 12 threads on your processor, it's very possible that it will put those on either um, very low priority, or it will run them on just one or two threads rather than making it available for everything, and therefore, in theory, the game itself will be able to run at a much faster speed. Now, how much different that is going to make, uh, how much difference, excuse me, that's going to make in reality, we can only assume uh, based upon, well, I guess it's going to depend on the system itself, but I imagine we're going to see a small speed up for some systems, 
and obviously it also will make a difference based upon what you're running in the background. So for example, if you're someone who does a lot of multitasking, then I imagine you're going to see a much greater gain, at least in theory, than someone who just, for example, switches their PC on and runs, say, just a game and then quits out of it and then does something else and quits everything and then loads up a game. But either way, it is quite a nice update. Um, and it does also point the fact that Microsoft PC Gaming and Xbox and a unification of sorts is definitely in the minds of everyone. I think we can all be very uh, self-assured right now that Microsoft are very much planning commitment to PC gaming in the long term, and they really, really want us to, um, I suppose, think of Windows and PC gaming as synonymous, whereas there was this point in time, and yes, for some reason there's random fireworks which are going on in the background, I'm not quite sure why the hell they just randomly started, but I think that they want them to us rather as customers to think hey pc gaming windows are one and the same and it was like that for a while um you know the early 2000s late 90s pc gaming and uh, windows were very much part and parcel with one another but since then you know microsoft and pc gaming kind of had a bit of a, a weird relationship with one another anyway let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. For folks wondering, I am actually pausing the Switch analysis for a couple of days. Instead, I'm doing something else which should be available tomorrow or the day after. The reason I'm not doing the Switch analysis is because a couple of new pieces of news have popped up. And essentially, those pieces of news have added some extra stuff regarding the specifications and have also led me to wonder whether some of the earlier reports regarding the Switch's specifications are 100% accurate. And so I don't necessarily want to be spending a whole bunch of my time doing an analysis on something which could ultimately be incorrect in a few days. So I'll probably wait until the early new year, until everyone's back at work and perhaps some of the leakers can start working their magic regarding that. So I have something else which is really cool. So I think you'll appreciate it anyway. Normal stuff, if you've liked the video, well, you know, leave a like. Comment what you think of this update and whether it's something that you will actually utilise. And apart from that, take care of yourselves. Bye for now.